Welcome back. In this demo video, we'll discuss about Modbus TCP communication. For that case, we'll take a Modbus server module that is SORX WP241 Wing module. This Wing module will be used as Modbus server. In Modbus RTU, it is called Modbus slab. But for Modbus TCP, it is called Modbus TCP server and PLC will be the Modbus TCP client. This is the Oing module WP241. We have open manual of that module Oing module SORX WP241. This is belt scale Oing module. Okay, so we'll take the data from that Oing module. will take the data that is current this all at the modbus register but we will not take all the register from that owing module we will take the current weight current bell load kg per meter current bell load as a per sentence current flow rate as a tps per sentence current speed meter per second current speed as per sentence and totalizer so for that current weight, if we take the data from current weight, so our starting address will be 3008. These are the holding register and it will be a read register. It will be the read data. Okay. And the data type is float and byte is 4 byte. So for holding register, it is a extended holding register 4, 0, then 3008 but for PLC it will be 3009 means we have to add one with that holding register okay so our starting address will be 403009 and we'll take 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay or that 9 so we need to take 9 or 10 data uh, 9 or 10 double watt for floating but is holding register has 1 watt so is data will take 2 watt okay 2 watt means 2 double watt okay let's go to a real plc that we already made a communication okay this is the real plc we are showing now okay so plc will be communicate as modbus tcp client so we have to take the modbus tcp client instruction in that fc means function block okay function so here where you find that function modbus client here you have to go to here if you write as a modbus mod bus here you can see the modbus tcp communication so mb client this is for mb client communicate with modbus server this is mb server communicate with modbus client and this is for redundant communication so this is not the redundant communication will this is a point to point communication standalone communication so we'll use the mb client if you can just drag and drop like this okay and take the you can rename that data block this is a instance data block okay will not take because we already see we already take that data block okay so we'll delete this data block okay these are all at the mandatory tag you have to assign here okay that we already assign here okay so i'll delete or i'll just undo okay so nothing save no issue we don't need to download okay so here we have connect 
request request underscore connect bit okay this is a boolean tag okay this is required for request the communication or request for um, data to that modbus server okay and you can give a pulse or you can keep it as always on no problem if your uh, communication only read communication you can keep it as always on otherwise you can give a um, pulse because uh, for reading you have to give here as a um, mb mode as a one right for writing for read you have to give a zero okay and you have to set here as a zero for connection establishment if you give here all one means uh, true value then your communication will not established okay mb mode you have to set it as a zero for reading data from that modbus server you can set it as one for writing data to that modbus server for our case we have to read the data from modbus server so we have set it here as a zero okay as i show in the pdf file that our data is starting from 3008 by adding one it is 3009 and it is extended holding register so the data is for data holding register is 40 not 4300 okay 403009 and we are taking that 20 holding register so mb data length is 20 means 10 double word is double word has a one data because our data is plot point value it is four byte data so for double word it is four byte right okay and this is mb data pointer you have to give a data pointer or any data area there you have to store the data which read from that holding register and keep here store here okay i'll show how we have made that pointer okay and here you have to give a connection parameter tag okay so here i already open that connection parameter that we have made in a data block the wp241 e scale data okay this is wp241 e scale data okay here we have rewrite as a request underscore connect and start value was store okay i will stop okay okay request disconnect we didn't use that because we have used this one so when it is zero it is disconnect directly connect to see it will invert so it is zero means it will transfer to one that block this here it is inverted okay then how we have written the pointer tag we have written the pointer tag as a array okay array 0 to 10 means here 0 starting 0 to 10 means here it is 11 word right 11 double word 11 double word but here we have use here we have used 20 word means 10 double word so here we have assigned 11 but here we have used 10 so this is a no problem because you may write here uh, more than 10 or 11 double word you can write 100 of double word but you can use 10 of them no problem okay Ma matter is starting and ending okay okay this is a, so i just drag like this okay mm, i will show I just drag and drop this tag here and it is used as a pointer okay 
now the connection okay this is a connection tcp connection with that modbus server so we have to take a tcp tag okay so we have write a variable name as connect and give a data type as a tcp connection ip version 4 and that is called tcon underscore ip underscore version 4 it is a data type in that data type there is some uh, stack data that is interface id okay id of that communication connection type active established so where you can find that interface id what will be the value see interface id data type is hardware id and it is any here we have put 64 where you find that 64 i will show if i open see i have open um, from here device configuration okay so it will show like this if you click here okay you can see there is only one network right only one network with two port only one network with two port port one port two okay if you go to system constant here you can see that local profinet interface means this is a one communication one network only but it has two port so port one port two okay i'll use this one because this one and this one is same communication but same network but port is different so if you use this one you have to connect this port one only you cannot connect this one here okay but if you use this interface you can connect here or here there no problem both will work so i will use the interface hardware interface 64 okay and that's why here we have written as a 64 and connection id is 01 is communication connection id should be different this is a communication if you have two or three modbus server means uh, if you want to connect uh, two or three device with that plc so you have to give a unique id in each device communication okay and it is starting from one you cannot give a zero so here we have only one so we have used zero one means one if you have another one with this plc so you have to give zero two for that communication okay modbus client okay next is connection type here by default it's zero b you have to give the zero b you cannot give other value because for tcp communication it is the zero by default sorry it is 11 you have to give that value you can see the command type com communication for tcp communication value is 11 for udp it is 19 so for tcp communication we have given a zero b hexadecimal value okay for 11 it's converted to hexadecimal okay and active established it is a boolean tag you have to give true otherwise it will not communicate okay and to the remote address it is ip4 ip address so our ip address is 192.168.11.21 of that slab oh sorry server tcp server means owing module owing module address is 192.168.11.21 so 192 decimal value converted as a 16 hexadecimal this is c0 a8 11 11 0 b so 21 converted to 15 and the remote port this is 503 as you know that port tcp port modbus tcp port 
is 502. Why we have given here as a 503? Most of the Modbus server has only support 502, but for that Boeing module, the Modbus TCP port is 502 and 503. Two port can support for communication. So two communication established can be established at a time with that server. So we have used 502 for communication with the ACMI, local ACMI, by using 502. But 503 we have used to communicate remotely from that PLC to take some data. Okay. Here local port you don't need to give. If you want, you can use. But this will take automatically by PLC. Okay. So now we have just a drag like this, drag and drop like this. It is work. Okay. And now you have to download and it will communicate. But here we have use another block that is that is for disconnect if you use only this and give here as a zero so it will send one to that uh, communication block it will disconnect but in cache there is still a communication value so if you send the request as a disconnect request here disconnect by uh, t disconnect block and id you have to use the id which communication id you want to reset means disconnection you have to select here by this way your communication purely disconnect no cache value will be stored okay so every mb client you should use that t dash connect if you not use that one your communication will be happen but when you disconnect that time it will be may uh, error occur or later you may not get any data from that communication okay so you should i I strongly recommend to use that one okay so now we have read the value from 403009 starting from that address and uh, till 20 uh, holding register and store that value in that array okay if I go online I may show that here that pointer value and it is the hexadecimal value uh, double word value so we have to convert that double word value to float because our data is float okay so how we have convert here in other see network 12 we have convert that reading value to that float value here you can see current weight our tag is current weight 13 okay here we have written the tag here current weight build load build load percentage float tp, uh, flow tpa is float percentage speed meter per second like this okay so we have convert that array value pointer see array value double word to here okay by using an instruction double word to real okay scl here we have use scl language that convert double word to real okay so for converting double word to real input is that wp241 scale data dot mb data pointer zero okay this one this zero this address this zero will convert and store the data in wp241 scale underscore data dot current weight 
that current weight okay same way we have convert convert that pointer 1 2 3 4 in bell load kg parameter okay and if you go download and go online you may see this if you get any error you here you can see that status value from that status integer value you can find what is the problem where can be the problem if you get any problem you can search that error value status um, value then you can find and rectify or if you still not solve then you can send me the error code i can show help you thank you thank you for watching thank you thank you for watching this video